Hello guys and welcome back to another one. Welcome back. For sure, welcome back. We are on with some more story quests and let's just dive deep in. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. All right, this is really happening. I'm going to break into Headmaster's office. This is so cool. Come on, Professor Fig, give me something good here, please. Because I don't want to fail this and get caught. Otherwise, that would suck really bad. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. All right, Polyjuice it is. Let's juice it up, baby. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Alright, let's go and search for the elf. 
Oh, how are people gonna react to me? Let's see. I wanna take the way through the hall. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Okay, I will decide what's the best. Yes, I'm the headmaster, baby. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. <laughs> Very well, okay. sir, if you insist. This one's gonna I be do. funny. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Okay. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Oh, can you pick me? Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Any more weird encounters? What could the headmaster want? Oh, please drop me a few more. I badly want to see them. These are hilarious. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor Black, how oh, are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Okay, that was Shoot weird. Something. <laughs> Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Uh, please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will. And with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Okay, let's go search for the elf. What did oh. we do to deserve him as a head? Greetings! Oh, I mean, imagine. out of my way, children. Imagine what would she write about him. Maybe we can summon Dumbledore? I mean, how old was he? He could be like... No, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Uh, he could be the headmaster, like, already. Like, at a younger age. Oh, maybe we can see that. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, mm -hmm. a word, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Oh, okay, so this could get me more time with him to do the main quests. Hmm... 
Yeah, okay, let's try it. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Okay, these are just weird balls to the walls. For Professor Fink? I shall never understand. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrub's Oh, I can't use my rebellion with it. Okay. There's no Hello. doubt in Scrub's mind. Ahem. Scrub! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Oh, no. I mean, this this has kind of sense that he did it, but... Okay, let's just try it out. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Ooh, no. Is it with the purity of blood? No, that's ominous thing. Region or with strength? Oh, no. Let's just go with blood. Whatever. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. All right. <laughs> Obviously. And that makes of sense. Of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. All right, thank you, little man. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Let's uh, run. Ah, uh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Man, did I have many stairs to climb. And it's ongoing. What the heck? How do you get like every day up here? Your legs must hurt as hell. Or you just evaporate or... However, that is called. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Work. That is cool. That I was able to do it. Pull it off so seamlessly for now. I at wonder least. if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. 
In this place, you may call me Neve. Call you you what? shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Can I use my wand in this one? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, just the stealth one. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I cannot go through the houses. Oh, can I sneak by? Yes, yes, yes. Sneaky. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, this looks so scary. Come and leave. Damn it. There's so many of them. I need to time this just right. Go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Alright. I'm in the clear. For now at least. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Where is the staircase? Would you mind? Yes, move. Thank you. Why are you going so slow? Just tippy-toeing. Beautiful, this sketch art style. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Why do I have a feeling that that is a bad idea? Oh, but there is no other way, as it seems. Why do you have to be so many? They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Go, 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 go. Oh man, go. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Are you gonna turn around? Oh, come on, please do turn. Yes, you did. Nice, nice, nice. One down, one down. Let's wait for the other one. Come on, man. Go, go and join your friend. Yes, thank you. Alright, go, go, go. Oof. Oh, there is the big one. Nothing this way, but more danger. Must be another way to find you. Turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Okay, but where should I go? Okay, thank you. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Oh, you mean the door doorway where I just got in, or? Oh. Okay. Please let me like cast a spell or something, so I can at least Now's try my and get out here a bit quicker. Oh, this is dense. Oof. That's the way forward. Thank you. Finally, use. I 
think I'm invisible? Oh, was it was this the death itself? And it gave me and I found a deadly hollow. Oh, that is cool. The invisibility cloak. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Oh, this is super cool. Yes, this is the, the this invisibility is the cloak. Forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Am I free? You have run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Oh yeah, these are the the Deathly Hollows from the stories. I've never felt such power. Alright, let's fight through. Bombarda. Oh, let's fight some of them. Right, I ain't scared of you anymore. This wand is so powerful. That itself cannot stop me anymore, as it seems. Bombarder. Defender! Bombarder! is really powerful like really really powerful more enemies I assume so oh the big dude himself let's go let me get you let me get you Everything more, 
Oh, I can take more. Oh, I am ready for more. Oh, two of you. Nice. Defend though. Oh, come on, defend. No, 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 no. Descender. Okay, they are grouping up on me. Descender. No! Oh, they are really strong. Bombada. Bombada. Come on. You stun, you stun, you stun. Yes. Oh, you didn't die? Come on. Finally. All right. I'm ready for more, then. Well, I assume not, then. I'm too powerful for you. Oh, encryptions on the walls. And this is the way forward, I assume. after this oh imagine being able to wield that wand outside you're far from finished pass through the mourners ahead nothing is left <laughs> she's gone Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Let's see what the stone has to say to us. Okay, this is the resurrection stone, so the death turned away. Am I gonna resurrect this person? You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay, let's see what your shadow has to say then. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Oh, this is where we're gonna get the memory out of the drop, the tear. Remember that as you witness my memory. Yeah, let's see what your memory has to say then. I didn't get any chest in this one, but okay. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. 
It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. So it was Isadora behind of everything. Oh man, that's a bummer to see, because she was like me and the rest of the crew. Let's see, what do they have to say about this? Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Okay, that, that is fascinating, but what is happening with it after that? That's the question. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. So guys, that was all the time I had for this one. Uh, this was intriguing. Uh, the Isadora story part is getting more interesting by the second it goes. Uh, I kind of called it by her grin in the first like uh, memory from the keepers but nonetheless we are here to explore further but uh, I will have to do it in the next episode and till then don't forget to drop a like button and drop a sub so you don't miss it and I will see you in the next one have a great day and bye bye